It seems Lil Wayne is finally buying up some property on the West Coast. In recent news, the rapper has set up in the high-profile neighborhood of Hidden Hills, purchasing a mansion for $15.4 million just down the street from Kylie Jenner. Well, one of her homes anyways. In the past, Sweezy has spent most of his time buying real estate in Florida, still owning a modern residence in Miami that serves as his main home when he's not in LA. He spent majority of quarantine in a high-class Hollywood Hills rental though, so this may have inspired him to put down some roots. Today, we'll check out Lil Wayne's brand new mansion and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., known by his stage name Lil Wayne or Wheezy, is a rapper, singer, songwriter, record exec, entrepreneur and more. He's regarded by many as one of the most influential hip hop artists of our generation and one of the greatest rappers of all time. While his debut albums did do well, Lil Wayne gained prominence with his sixth album, the Carter 3 in 2008 where he had sales of over 1 million copies in the first week alone. This album even won a Grammy and included hit singles like Lollipop and Amelie. From there, the hit songs and albums would only continue for the rapper. Altogether, Lil Wayne is one of the world's best-selling music artists and has many awards under his belt including 5 Grammys. As we all know, he's also the CEO of Young Money Entertainment, his record label, with which he signed many of your fave artists from Nicki Minaj to Drake to Tiger. At the time of this recording, Lil Wayne's net worth is at about $150 million or more, which has afforded him a few lavish multi-million dollar mansions over the years. After spending most of 2020 quarantining in a leased Hollywood Hills mansion with ex Denise Bideau, the rapper has finally purchased some of his own real estate in LA. His new mansion in Hidden Hills will make him neighbors with celebrities like Drake, Jeffree Star, multiple Kardashian Jenners, and more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another brand new house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to ring that bell, we post a new video daily. We reported on Lil Wayne's Florida homes in the past, but it's been a while and now he has a brand new mansion. So today, we're looking at the Hidden Hills home Wheezy just bought, as well as his other main residence in Miami. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion, expensive items, and more. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Serving as his first official home purchase in LA, the Young Money boss has just spent $15.4 million on a brand new farmhouse mansion in Hidden Hills, the celeb-filled enclave about 30 minutes from downtown LA. His 3.3 acre spread has all of the luxury amenities you'd expect and all of the famous neighbors too. This San Fernando Valley enclave is also home to the likes of Drake, Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union, Jeffree Star, John Stamos, Jessica Simpson, and many Kardashian Jenners. In fact, Lil Wayne new crib is right around the corner from the longtime main home of Kylie Jenner and the weekend's Hidden Hills home, which has been up for sale since last summer. Inside Lil Wayne's new mansion spans a whopping 12,135 square feet with 7 beds and 7.5 baths, some of which are lent to the epic mini-me style guest house on the property. The guest house can be accessed by its own short driveway and it also includes a cozy kitchen and petite living room. Wheezy's brand new home was built in 2019 and the landscape property surrounding it has olive trees and rolling lawns. The modern farmhouse style mansion boasts spacious common rooms just like the massive living room beside the double height entryway. Under the grand staircase in the foyer, you'll also find a glass enclosed temperature controlled wine cellar and the oak floors lead you into the kitchen. The designer kitchen is fit with not one but two large islands, marble counters and a full suite of deluxe stainless appliances, even a French range. Mostly all of these rooms have huge glass windows which soak up all of the LA sun. The breakfast nook has three walls of windows, and the nearby family room has glass sliders to outside. Lil Wayne can enjoy plenty of other amenities throughout his new digs, like the blacked out bar with built-in flat screen TV, perfect for entertaining, or the home gym with French doors to the patio. One of my personal faves has got to be the home movie theater, which boasts a starry galaxy style ceiling and plush seating. 
Upstairs, there are five ensuite bedrooms, and the master is no doubt the most impressive of all. Here, there's a calming vibe with neutral colors and a marble fireplace. The master retreat also has an open sitting area with dramatic walls of windows, a master bath with picture window and glass shower, as well as a showroom closet. Of course, the features of Wheezy's mansion don't stop there. Open the doors to outside and you'll find everything from an outdoor kitchen with barbecue to a full sports court for staying in shape. A negative edge swimming pool and spa complete the amenities here. White picket fences and horse trails surround the grassy lot, considering Hidden Hills was and still is an equestrian neighborhood. Almost 50% of the current homeowners here still have horses on their ranches. While that new spot is Wheezy's first piece of luxury real estate on the west coast, he owns another main home on Allison Island just off the coast of Miami Beach, which he bought in 2018 for $16.75 million. Prior to the current Miami mansion, he owned one with a skate park and even a shark pool, but the one he has now seems to be even nicer. Located on Allison Island, the estate is in a luxury neighborhood that can only be accessed by bridge, making it highly private and remote. Any intruders would also have to get past the full security and the moat-like entrance on his own property. There are floating marble steps above water to access Wheezy's front door, and once inside, you'll soon find this entire home was designed to feel as if it's floating on water. The mansion covers over 10,600 square feet of space, all in an open and modern layout with a clean white color scheme. There are seven beds, 11 baths, and features like movable glass walls to blend the indoor and outdoor spaces. Wheezy has a great room on the main level of his mansion with windows extending from the floor up to the 22 foot ceilings and a wall that opens to the backyard. Another living area opens up to the deck and water views. Nearby, the sleek Eden kitchen, Bosu wood cabinets, and upscale appliances, while elsewhere in the home you'll find a smaller galley kitchen with an entry from the backyard, useful for catering or entertaining. An open air atrium is one impressive feature at Lil Wayne's Miami mansion, where there are two 20 foot living walls of vegetation that thrive in the climate of Allison Island. It's also just a nice private outdoor hangout with a courtyard feel. Bedrooms occupy the upper level of the home, each with its own private balcony, and most are open air with glass glass sliders all around. Wheezy's master retreat is no doubt the most impressive, with an L-shaped grand terrace facing the ocean, a lavish bath, and custom walk-in. Other features inside his home include a theater with red oak floors and oversized loungers, as well as an elevator for easy travel within the mansion. When you move out to the backyard at Lil Wayne's estate, you'll find a large infinity pool and cabana pool house with outdoor kitchen and bathroom. There are also plenty of outdoor dining and entertainment spaces, as well as direct access access to the clear blue water off the property with 110 feet of waterfront. All right, so I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. We got to check out Little Wayne's newest real estate addition, his first LA mansion in the luxury Hidden Hills, as well as his current Miami spa. Out of the two, which was your favorite? I would probably pick the Hidden Hills one because I like the design better. Miami place is a bit too modern, but it's hard to choose. The all glass and open air vibes in his Miami estate are hard to pass up. I also love the atrium and the pool. But what about you guys? Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Lil Wayne's mansions in the comments below. If you haven't, I'd love it if you subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I'll link you my latest video and I post one every Sunday. So Michael and I watched the movie The Girl in the Basement. When you watch this movie, you might not believe that anything so disturbing can happen. The real life story, the man was Joseph Fritzl and it gets really gruesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Video. Bye!